<laughs> What's going on, baby people? It's your boy, JD. Let's see if anybody's in the house. Hold on. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, nobody else is in the house. Okay, so now your boy can <laughs> be himself. How you doing? How you doing? Um. So, oh, the light is bad. My two. Pablo and Crash. Please don't get about the couch. I didn't I didn't mean to excite y'all. But this is like a little a little vlog or something. So your boy finally got on the scale, right? And I like him sitting right there. And I weigh 159 pounds. So I lost a total of 13 pounds. So I did my thing on that. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as like a thumbnail, but I could do a thumbnail with my boys, but they really ain't gonna be in this video like that. I was about to say, Pablo, like I am. So let's do a little quick little thumbnail. Well, <laughs> but no, we gonna, hold on. Let, let me get some seasonings. Or no, we just, we, we just gonna grab this salmon right here. And we're just gonna be like, uh huh. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cook some salmon. But yeah, let's talk about the weight loss and stuff. So as I season my portion of the salmon, because I don't want this garlic butter on it. So I lost 13 pounds. I started with 100. Uh, I, I started at 172 pounds. And when I weigh myself, I weigh 159. Um, which is cool. Well, it was, well, it was 159.9. .9, so really, that's really 160. But 12 pounds, don't matter. 12 to 13 pounds, I still lost the weight. I hope my iPad is not too loud upstairs. It probably is. I cannot get this thing. There go. So normally, I should get some gloves, but I ain't gonna do all that. But I get some seasonings though. So I like to um, season my salmon with um, more like the better. I like to season my salmon with, why did they put mustard in the, okay. That's if I can find a seasoning. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute for a second. Um, You know, this is our spice cabinet. <laughs> it's nothing unique, nothing special. Uh, we're gonna put some crushed red peppers because I've been I've been feeling some crushed red peppers. Look at this, Look at that. just nosy, nosy rosy. We're gonna get some onion powder because I like a, a good onion powder. Um, where's my slap your mama seasoning? Uh, some black pepper, black pepper. Um. We already got onion powder. Do we have, oh, we got garlic powder. Put a little garlic powder on there. Uh, what else we need? I want to know where is Slap Your Mama seasoning? Yes, right here. Is this one already open? It is. Slap Your Mama seasoning. Let's see what else uh, I can add on here. I think that's it because I feel like if I add too much, it ain't gonna be good at all. So, so the topic today is, I know I'm everywhere. It's going to be, um, you know, seasoning my salmon and also um, talk about, oh man, the iPad is loud in the mug, but y'all can barely hear it, so it's okay. Um, talk about my weight loss and, and how I did it. Because, you know, like, like when I, you know, sometimes when I ask people how did they lose weight or something, they always give me the excuse. Well, it's not an excuse. It was like, you know, hard work, dedication. That's not what I mean by how did you do it. Give me the step-by-step -step process. Tell me what diet you did. Tell me how much protein you consumed. Because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, you know, lose weight too. And and the people that I've been asking, oh, how are dedication, how are dedication. We get that. That that's, that's one of the steps. But... Whatever. I'm I'm having flashbacks to the people who um did not want to help me. Um first of all, let me pick out what 
what salmon that I want. I want the, I think I just get this, get the middle one. So, um, what I did, or what I'm doing now is, I'm doing intermittent fasting, right? Uh, I'm doing that, I'm trying to fix, make it to where y'all can see me too. Okay, y'all can't see me. And there we go. So I'm trying to make it to where I lost I lost my train of thought. I need to back up a little bit. So how I lost my weight was that I've been doing intermittent fasting. So I only eat between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then uh, after that, after 9 p.m., I don't eat. And within that time period of eight hours that I can eat, um, I count my calories too because uh, a lot of times when people do intermittent fast fasting, they can actually overeat. You know, they think, oh, you know, uh, I should be okay because, hey, you just, I touched you. Um, but yeah, people think it's okay because, you know, you're, people don't do well on intermittent fasting when they consume too many calories and you're just very stagnant with your weight or you're not even seeing any weight loss. You actually seeing weight gain because you're consuming so many calories within the eight hour period. So I count my calories. So I eat 1200 calories a day. Well, between 1200 and 1300 calories. I don't go over 1300 calories at all. I try to stay up under it. Um, but um, I do that just so I won't overeat. And a lot of times I be full and I, and I don't feel like eating for the rest of the day. But you know, you have to feed your body. If not, you know, your body's gonna store that fat. And um, another thing that I always do too, uh, is every Sunday, uh, except for this week, cause Monday, uh, I made it a cheat day too. Every Sunday is my cheat day. Meaning that I still eat between the fasting times of 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. But I eat anything that I want and I'm not counting calories, you know? Um, but I, well, okay. I try to stay up on the 2000 calories. Okay. But, but so, so I can eat anything that I want, but I still try to stay up on the 2000 calories. But if I go over, it's okay. Cause it's my cheat day. Uh, it really is supposed to be a cheat meal and not a cheat day, but that's my business. And I like a good old cheat day. So I do that because it confuses the body. Well, this is my theory. I listen, I, I'm not an expert on that, but um, I want to confuse my body like because like when your body get used to a diet even uh, during intermittent fasting it's going to you, you're gonna reach a plateau effect right so I um, use my cheat day as like a reset so I so my body's like wait a minute we get so many calories Bobby if you want to be in this video so bad but um you know I want to confuse my body make my body think wait a minute, okay, we having, we getting all these calories, hey, okay, cool. And then the next day when I'm back on my on my diet, um, my body's like, wait a minute, now we gotta go overdrive because we're not getting the amount of calories that we were getting um, like yesterday. So it's like a reset for me. And today I decided to do a hardcore reset. So I, I made Sunday and Monday my cheat day. And I when I tell you I ate about everything, it was good, it was delicious. And, and then now today is Thursday. Um, well, you know, Tuesday I did my, you know, Tuesday was my back on my diet. And is, you know, my, it tricked my body. You know, I think, I don't know. But like I said, I lost 13 pounds. I'm very proud of myself. I got 19 more to go because I want to want to get to 140. But my mom was like, no, you need to lose nine. 150 is a good way for you. I want 140, but if I get one to 150, I'm happy. But 140 is my goal, and that's that. So I talked y'all ear off. Let's go ahead and season this salmon. So I guess I'll just do this piece right here. It oh oh, it's multiple pieces. Well, no, I just do the other piece then, cause I don't want that. Okay, I just do this piece. I mean, they're all the same size, but. So, uh, let me wash this hand because this is my dirty hand now. But yeah, um, so my advice to you is do it. Stay consistent. 
uh, it's okay uh, if you have a cheat day or or a cheat meal. Just you know, um, you know, you still gotta live. So eat what you can eat, right? So, and you know, that's my piece of advice because you know this will work for me. It may not work for you, but if it does, I'm happy for you. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Keep 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 doing your thing. Now, as far as exercising. I'm still exercising. Well, I'm not exercising hardcore. Um, I, you know, I, I try to do. Well, I, I try to work out three times a week, right? Um, you know, I don't work out every day. I don't think I, I would ever become a, a gym rat. I say that now, but then in the future, I become gym, a gym rat. But um, I just, I just don't have the desire to do that. But eventually, I'm gonna have to if I want to build muscle, which is uh, my next goal after I, you know, get to the my goal weight. So yeah, so I put black pepper on on the salmon. Also, I'm gonna put a little onion on um, powder because that's my business, and I want it to taste like a little onion. Uh, let's move this out the way. Then we're gonna put a little garlic, a little garlic powder. I'm trying to see if there's one that's already open, but I guess not because my mom did like a huge haul of cleaning all the seasonings and spices and threw majority of it away because you know she said you know they can get old which i didn't know so put a little garlic on there not a whole lot because it gives me acid reflux real bad um we're gonna put a little slap your mama seasoning on it because that's my business slap your mama how you doing but don't slap your mama unless you want to go to the grave early season that right chair right chair oh it's already looking delicious look at that Y'all see that seasoning? I know that light ain't doing it justice. Hold on, don't make it fall now. I'm gonna have to bring that camera to you. You see that? Boom. And I touched the salmon. Great. And some good old crushed red peppers. See, at first when I was a kid, I didn't like um, red peppers. I really didn't. Um, you know, but now I like it because it's a kick to it. And it's, it's delicious. And I have a feeling that it's not going to stick. Uh-oh. Um, a little, a little fruit, a little fruit fly, a little gnat or whatever, but it's okay. It's okay. Ooh, I, I knew that wasn't going to stick. Uh, right. Okay. So we're going to just flip it over because you know, you gotta, you gotta season both sides. Don't play. Season both sides. Same thing. Black pepper. We're going to put that on now. Hey, look, I'm watching a YouTube video upstairs. I'm watching a YouTube, um, um, channel of lips um they are our newfound channel that i actually found on facebook but there wasn't you know they don't have a official facebook um page and you know someone bootlegged their video but still i found i was able to find their channel and i i love watching them and i think they're from memphis too because they you know they've been sending a lot of memphis stuff and if that's the case we got to collaborate we got to collaborate well, we don't got to, but if you want to, hey, let me know. And then that's when I need some crushed red peppers. If it's if it wants to come on here. And knowing me, I'm probably gonna have to add some more crushed red peppers on it because I mean, come on now. And then I'm gonna get um some aluminum foil just so it won't touch the other salmon. Because don't nobody want my seasoning on my stuff. So, I'm just gonna set that right there. And we're gonna take a look at this good old salmon. Ooh, ooh, it looks delicious, y'all. Y'all see that deliciousness season on both sides? You know, ooh, wee. Hey, okay, my bad, my bad, okay. So we got that done and that's basically the end of the video. Um, so I hopefully, my, you know, my my diet uh, what that, that I'm doing now will help you lose weight. Of course, you know, 1,200 calories is extreme. No one should be doing that, okay? So, I'm, so don't do that. Um, you should really talk to a dietitian, talk to your doctor to make sure that you're healthy enough to even um, do that diet because I don't want y'all to blame me and say what Jawan said. No, no, Jawan just telling you what he did. What you decide to do with your diet, that's your business. But yeah, if it works for you, please let me know because I want everyone to be healthy, successful, and everything because, you know, that's the ultimate goal in life. 
and I love when I see people doing good for themselves and for their families. Like I, I root for that always. So, but I think I talked to our ear enough. Um, I was I'm going to paint today, but listen, I couldn't. I couldn't. Hey, go and take one for the team. Okay, my bad. Okay, that's the cue for me to go before I get copyrighted from Lip Shadow. Okay, well, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and do your thing with that YouTube thing. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Don't know what your boy going to do, but just know I'm going to have fun, I think. All right, peace and many blessings to you and have a great day. Oh.